Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, little Sunday video there. Hate not aid. <laughs> you know, not hating on anyone, folks. Just saying the fucking truth. Um, ten reasons why WWE is better than AEW there. This is all obvious stuff there. You should know, ladies and gentlemen. Not even debatable there. Some of it might be subjective there, but it's mostly all true. Number one, WWE has more stars. A better overall roster, like Brock Lesnar destroys anybody that AEW can present. You know what I mean? They have three, four guys, and the rest don't even look like wrestlers. So clearly, WWE, better roster, more stars there. Number two, the women's division will give them their own little slot here on this list there. Because AEW, it's a big thing about how their women division sucks. Some of the fans want it to be good like WWE's, you know, because WWE's the real federation, ladies and gentlemen. But WWE's women division, way better, you know, straight up. Number three, WWE makes more money than AEW ever will there. The cons have money, but, you know, the company itself, WWE, generates way more cash than cheap Young Bucks t-shirts and all of that shit combined. And it always will, folks. Number four, bigger ratings, bigger demographics there. You know, this week, AEW beat NXT by this much. The fans were celebrating this. The past two weeks, viewership didn't matter. This week, it mattered. So they're barely beating NXT. But, you know, in the real world, Raw and SmackDown, which are the real shows, destroying them in the ratings. Okay. NXT developmental, it's there to chop away the ratings of AEW. McMahon being McMahon or whatever. Meanwhile, Raw and SmackDown dominating in the ratings there. Number five, better production. Straight up, way better. It is what it is. WWE are pros. They have TV people. Real people, not just the Young Bucks, not Kenny Omega or whatever. <laughs> they have real people, dog. I mean. Number six, better wrestling. These guys flip more. They do more suicide dives, more head bumps there, more botches. But I think overall the wrestling in WWE is better. You know, that's subjective there, but, you know, two stars having a, a match, a normal match that makes sense, that's better than two unknown goofballs flipping for no reason. You know, for 45 minutes, we get it there. Dave Meltzer likes long matches, but, you know, I don't mind a 10-minute match, to be honest there. I don't need to see two cruiserweights wrestling for 30 minutes. Uh, I'd rather have less. Sometimes less is more, like they say. Um, better storylines. At least WWE has storylines. AEW slash TNA there. They have this weird shit with Brandy Rhodes and... Fuck knows what's happening. Jericho and Dean Ambrose, they both walk down the stairs. Oh, <laughs> such amazing storytelling or whatever. Number eight, WWE's scripted promos are better than AEW's free-for-all 
artistic jobber promos or whatever. That's my opinion. It's subjective. AEW, it's like they don't know what to say there. Cody Rhodes comes out. Hey, MJF, here's my watch. You want 15 bucks? Uh, Jericho rehashing the list or whatever. Hey, it's Jericho. Oh, you know. I'm not seeing amazing promos. Dean Ambrose, just the same shit. Instead of being uh, a lunatic, now he's hardcore, but it's the same guy. Same thing. I'm not seeing big, amazing promos from him. I'm tough. I'm hardcore. You know, whoopee fucking do there. Basically, number nine there, there's like a hundred things you could say there. WWE is the real deal. AEW is the cheap wannabe alternative, okay? AEW, all hype, anti-WWE propaganda. There are, you know, some Johnny-come-latelys. WWE, it's established. They've been around for 60 years, making money, entertaining people. They gave us great wrestling memories and shit. These guys gave us jobbers doing way too many flips, super kicks and dives and bad selling or whatever. Um, you know... Nowadays, people aren't as entertained. It's PG. McMahon is crazy or whatever, but he's making more cash than he ever has. You know what I mean? So is he really crazy for changing his product, the advertisers, blah, blah, blah? All that is making him huge money. So is he really out of touch? Is he really uh, mental like AEW fans would claim? If what he did worked, it worked. He's making so much fucking money. He's expanding in more and more countries, shit like this. Is he really insane there? If what he did actually worked, if his plan worked, to become more PG, more accepted, more sponsors, more deals with companies. Should he really throw that away just to do Attitude Era-esque material like poop jokes? And Should he really lose all his sponsors for bra and panties match when he can have so much more money? doing what he does now, you know, in reality, is he insane, is he out of touch, no, he's Vince McMahon, the genius, you know what I mean, even with the sad bunch of wrestlers he has now, he makes more than he ever has, so how the fuck is he nuts, you know what I mean, he's a genius, folks, it is what it is, there. And WWE, the real deal, McMahon, the real wrestling god there. AEW, Tony Khan, nothing but fanboy haters there. Jobber City, you know what I mean. And number 10, the WWE fans are better, ladies and gentlemen. If something sucks, we don't fake cheer for it. We're able to admit if something sucks in WWE. These guys are straight up mental. They deny reality. They're weird motherfuckers. We're hardcore. We watch 17 hours of wrestling a day. We jack off to fucking, you know, cheap Japanese wrestlers. I can't even think of anyone to mention there. That's how much I'm interested in Japanese wrestling there. But um, Kenzo Suzuki, is that even a wrestler? I don't fucking know there. But um, basically, the WWE fans are better, more loyal than these fucking lunatic Fox bandwagon jumping Cody Road fucking dick lickers there. All right. Fuck these guys. WWE way better. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>
<laughs> Until next time. <laughs> and that's the true fuck AEW fans there. Until next time. Peace. Ha!